The mountains will greet, winds will whisper stories, sand dunes will dance, and the lake will leave you amazed. A place which is way beyond sea level and your imagination. Leh Ladakh. Choose roads or flight. So rather taking a flight to Leh, here are the two best ways to reach Leh Ladakh. Srinagar to Leh via Kargil. Or Manali to Leh via Kelong or Jespa. This video will take you through the roads of Manali to Leh. From Manali, you can hire a bike or car to reach Leh. We chose car, which was not at all a bad idea. The distance roughly comes to some 400 kilometers and the mountains follow you all the way till Leh. Leh Ladakh is all about adventure and bike is the best way to feel the thrills. You'll find plenty of bikers on your way who travels all the way from different states and many from different countries. Bikers love to wave their country flag so you'll find many flags at the back of bikes and cars. All the riding and driving is possible because of our bro. And by that I mean border road organization. They gave us those wonderful roads and VT signboards, which you'll find time and again. On your way, first you'll come across the very famous Rotang Pass. During winter, both the sides of road are covered by snow. In the mountains, surely you cannot find Domino's or McDonald's. All you will find is the hospitality of the natives out here and their delicious homemade cuisines. By dawn, you should find a place to stay and Jespa is the best halt. This stay is important so that you don't miss out the scenic beauty at night. The tents here will range you somewhere between 800 to 1500. There are few rough patches which you got to be careful about. But definitely the ride will be something which will stay with you forever. The wonderful gate is a sign that you have arrived to your destination. Find a stay as per your requirement. You can find a lavish one or just a regular pocket friendly stay. First day you can go around to the places in Leh. Here you can hire a bike and try your hand for the first day. The roads of Leh are good and well populated, so you don't have to worry much. Leh Palace It was built in 17th century by the King Sinj Namgel. The royal residence, old yet very strong. And the carving are fresh like it is carved yesterday. The palace has got some art from the 17th century. It is 9 stories building. The upper floor accommodated the royal family while the lower floor held the store rooms.
There is a victory tower built for the palace in the memories of triumphant brave Ladakhi soldiers who fought the invading armies of Baltic Kashmiri. The palace is open for the public and the roof provides the panoramic view of Leh and the surrounding areas. Then the next stop is Shanti Stupa, a Buddhist white dome stupa on the hilltop in Chanspa. This splendid structure was built in 1991 and the place holds the release of Buddha at its base. The stupa too has some fine carvings all over. Here, many tourists come in search of peace and do long hours of meditation. Leh Ladakh is a land of real heroes, which is our Indian Army. The Hall of Fame will take you through the legacy of Indian Army, their achievements and evolution. If you are wondering what you'll find here, you will see the number of battalions we have weapons we used before, war photos, info on bro, Leh Ladakh and war stories. Ever imagined what will be the final word of a soldier? You will find one here. The last letter written by a soldier to his family when he was surrounded by the enemies. Gurudwara Pathar Sahib was our next destination. The place has a story to tell which you should read before entering the Gurudwara. A well built and beautifully maintained by the Indian Army. The place has 365 days of langar for anyone and everyone. Magnetic Hill, a gravity hill located on Le Srinagar Highway and H1. The magnetic force at this place makes the vehicle move on its own without any efforts. Hemis Monastery Situated 45 km from the late town, the monastery was established in 1672 by the Ladakhi king. The annual Hemis festival honoring Padma Sambhava is held here in earlier June. Situated 18 km from Leh in the Indus Valley, Tikse Monastery is the largest monastery in the central Ladakh district in Jammu and Kashmir. The 12 story monastery has 10 temples and assembly hall and is a home to 120 monks and nunneries. The monastery buildings are structured in a hierarchical order. The monastery resembles Putla Palace in Lhasa, Tibet.
Shea Palace, 15 km from the Leh town. The palace was built in 1665 by the king of Ladakh as his summer retreat. Located at an altitude of around 11,204 feet above sea level, Shea got a gold top Victoria Stoop. The monastery has two storied statue of Sakyamuni Buddha rode with copper and gold. Now that we are done with the must visit places around Leh, it's time to move to Nubra Valley. The route to Hundar is also known as Nubra Valley. You can also go to Turtuk village which is around 160 km from Hundar. Turtuk village was under Pakistan's control until 1971 after which India gained the control of this strategic area. On your way to Nubra Valley you come across the highest motorable road in the world Khardungla Pass. At Nubra Valley, you'll find these lovely animals. The rare seen double hump camels. The ride will cost you just 200 bucks. Deskit Monastery, also known as Deskit Monastery, is not only the oldest but also the largest buddhist gompa in the nubra valley the majestic statue of jampa buddha will catch your sight from far facing the shiok river the statue sits tall with the height of 32 meters and was constructed with the help of the natives of the valley now we are heading to pangong lake here is a tricky route There are three ways to reach Pangong. First is to go back to Leh, which is definitely a very long and unreasonable route. Second is to head towards Agam and via Sakti reach Pangong. Third is definitely the shortest and the deadliest route. This will take you through Siok River. The roads are bad and there are three rivers that you have to cross. So Avoid this road and make sure you don't go this way. On your way, you will cross the Changla Pass, the third highest motorable road. Here we are at Pangong Lake. Yes, the same place where three idiots were shot. The charismatic lake is situated on the Cheng Tang Plateau and is at the height of 4250 meters. Crystal clean blue lake sprawls over an area of 134 kilometers across the borders of two countries in India and China. Don't fall prey to the hoardings. The real scene was shot a little further, which you need to find. The lively lake comes to a stand still during winter the surface of the lake turns so solid that one can walk over it the frozen lake then becomes a playground for ice skater and skiers from around the world when you are done with all these spots spend a refreshing day back in leh visit the leh market find accessories work of art which you buy at the cost of your kidney these stuffs are expensive
Le Market is also famous for the varieties of pashmina shawl. One thing you should pick up is a custom made t-shirt. The t-shirt designed through swing patterns. The price range will be anywhere between 350 to 500. All depends on the selection of your design. Yes, this place will set a benchmark which no regular tourist spot can match. For the people who are planning for this place, have a safe and rocking journey.